my investment tips what i learn from the rakesh junjun wala investment and financing are the talks of the r these days there are countless videos on investing and finance tips out there but in this conversation is an expert in the investment industry and also manager investment ranking from 5000 rupees to 50 lakh crore rupees per month rakesh junjunwala is a badshah in the indian stock market he is the most successful person in the stock market honestly most of my money is managed by rakesh junjunwala he is a someone who gives me financial advice and i hope this conversation help you as well in financing table of contents this following contents will be c first indian financial growth first question was where is india at when it comes to the world of finance there is something called the gini coefficient it talks about the concentration of wealth in the hands of limited people about two decades back 1% of india was holding around 1/4 of indians wealth and now 1% old 1/3 of the indians wealth one thing that this 1% does right is to have assets that earn for them such as business these assets will grow with time and multiply the capital buying a house or putting money in fd is to maintain our wealth for growth invest in stock funds etc which grows over time second why is personal financing necessary in an era when 60 is the new 30 personal financing is crucial how teenagers or young professionals should look at lifelong financing life span of people is increasing the old target was to have around a crore before retirement and this amount is keeping inflation in mind in the usa it is a scene that people run out of money in their older age but they have social security india doesn't not even even as pension service as of now your target should be around 5 crore saving is important but investment have become more important third question types of investments mutual funds equity funds debt funds hybrid funds international funds gold funds equity the equity as sub classes index large cap funds mid cap funds and small cap funds the ideal way to invest in mutual funds would be to get an expert if you don't want an expert you need to learn about the market first and understand which would be the best option for you depending on the amount of money you want to invest and the risk that you can tolerate fourth why is investment necessary reinvention is a scene with a huge amount of youtubers and actors to stay relevant even an average person has times when he has to reinvent himself you never know when things will turn around so you need some amount of investment keep aside for best way to invest what would be your investment tips for someone who has 50 lakhs in their bank account imagine if you have 100 rupees to invest 70% should be in your core portfolio a core portfolio is an investment where the amount multiplies but it is a liquid which means you can pull it out in 2 3 days notice 
once your core portfolio is complete you can invest in private equity global hedge funds high yield with fixed returns six case studies what are the various investment options available for different amounts in savings account amounts listed below are your monthly savings 5000 rupees focus on keeping the money for emergency purposes make sure your emergency fund that is basic necessity is taken care of only then plan to invest 50000 rupees invest in mutual funds and depending on the risk that you can tolerate invest in growth assets 5 lakh rupees invest a certain amount of money in equity mutual funds which will compound over some time 1 crore rupees invest in pre ipo startups and global assets investing in options thank you for watching subscribe to channel hit the bell icon for upcoming videos like and share